And here we are back with our picture that we're going to paint. Now, we have our palette sitting here. What do I see for sky colors? Well, I see a lot of yellow and a lot of orange. So we are going to take our nice healthy big brush here. We're going to get some clean water. And we're going to take our paint from our well over to the mixing area so that we can see that we have a nice puddle of oh about five or six brush loads worth of paint. Now we know that we used rose to make our orange. So we're going to do a separate puddle of the rose. And once again you want to make sure it's thoroughly wet and you have no lumps in your paint. No lumps. Now the other one was the blue. Need a clean mixing area so it's not contaminated with any other color. And we're going to pick up our, <coughs> our bright blue. Now we don't need much because it's only across the top of the picture. So we only need two or three brush loads. So basically we're starting with three colors. I have my three puddles and I'm ready to paint my painting. I need to wet from the horizon line up. So I'm going to spray this because this is quicker and easier. Take my clean brush and rub this into the paper until it is absorbed. No big puddles of water. It depends on whether your room is warm or cold, whether you have the furnace on or a fan running. And we want to give it a chance to soak in. That's pretty wet, so I'm just going to drag some water off the side. Now, our picture tells us that it is yellow. Let's move all of this over a little bit. There, you can see that picture a little bit better. Now, yellow, but I don't want to put yellow underneath the blue. If I do, it's going to turn green. So I'm going to stop there with the yellow and we're going to bring the blue down. Now when I get close to that, I know it's going to turn green. So to buffer that, I put rose in here so that the blue mingles into the rose, not into the yellow. And I can keep on going until I have a sky that is pleasing me as to how vibrant the orange or the yellow is. Now, keep something in mind here that water colors dry lighter. So if this looks quite intense wet, I know it's going to dry back at least halfway. So I'm going to make it very deeper. I applied blue to that three different times until I got it as dark as it pleases me. Now the yellow looks pretty good but it's not orange enough so I'm going to on wet paint I'm going to play with my rose and my yellow so I'm mixing these on my paper until I get the orange and remembering that this will dry lighter so I've got to make it really quite intense Put a little extra yellow in there, dry your brush, go back, put a little rose in there. And it's oranger through there. I think this is looking pretty good. 
Now you notice that it's quite shiny and wet. So to put the clouds in, I have to just wait for it to dry a bit or use my hair dryer. Before I go that far, I can see that there is a white area where the sun is. So I'm going to take a ball of tissue, roll it into a circle, and dab out my sun. Try to make it round. Now here's a trick for you. There are some straight white lines. I'm going to take a ruler, put it into my paper towel or tissue, make a nice firm edge, and I'm going to dab out some straight lines that are going to be where my clouds are sitting. There's a little bit of white cloud in through here. So I can go in with my tissue and I can dab little bits of water off there and it's creating white clouds. And that's going to give me a really good idea of where to add my next colors. Now, that's getting at a good state where it's not too shiny. It is drying. I can see that it's getting drier because it's getting less shiny. Now, the next step is the clouds. What do we see for clouds? Well, we see this gray here and in here, and we know from our color sample that we got gray by mixing the orange and the blue. So let's make an orange with the rose and yellow on your palette. There's my orange. Take a little bit of my blue mix it into my orange and see what kind of gray I get. Well, it's a little greeny. I'm going to make it a little bit more bluer. That's pretty close to that picture. Do I want it pinker? Do I want it grayer? It looks a little green to me, so to mute that green I'm going to use a little bit of rose, a little more blue, and I finally have got a gray that looks like the gray in the picture. Now here's the fun part of the chisel brush. Load your brush and then hold it straight up and down and on the bottom of the cloud you're going to tap tap tap. Now pay attention when you're tapping how much paint comes off your brush. And I can see that by dabbing these colors in here. I'm going to add a little extra rose to this gray right in my brush and I'm getting the brown clouds that I need for my picture. Little bits of brown, bigger brown cloud here. I can see where my trees are so I'm going to make sure that it's next to the trees not behind the trees. I've got my gray happening and I want to add some of this wonderful gray rosy color the bottom of my clouds right through my cloud a little bit right through my Sun and I see that this is a little bit whiter there so I can give it another dab and see how much I get out of that that's looking pretty good. I see that maybe there's a little more yellowy orange up in here so I can go back in with more paint and drop this onto the paper and it being wet and wet I'm going to get all kinds of little cloud like formations because this paint is mingling with the other paint. Over here I wanted a little bit more bluer so I'm going to just go straight into my palette and pick up my blue and I'm going to 
dab, 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 as it's coming off the brush, I can see that it's running slightly. So this depends on the speed of the brush. Do you want less to come off, you speed up. More to come off, you slow down. So, all's looking good. I have this brush load of paint. It's kind of bluey gray. And I have the horizon line. I'm going to just put a brush stroke across here. So I camouflage my pencil that I put in for the horizon line. And this is all three colors that I've been using. I haven't changed it at all. This is the rose and the blue that I've got in my palette. I'm dry my brush because I want to pick up just this paint. We don't want this too wet. Just put in our distant horizon line. There we have our sky. We're all good to go. Let's do the lake next in our next video.